I'm picking the weakest link and I'm getting mine. One way or another. So, here we go. Uh, my name is Jimmy. This is my wife Dawn. We grew up in Southwest Baltimore all our lives. Um, been hooked on drugs for a very young age. Um, and the result, uh, lost our house, cars, jobs, our kids, our family. Um, it's addicted to drugs, man. It's a very bad disease that not trying to fight every day. What drugs are you guys addicted to? I'm addicted to heroin and cocaine. Donna? Yeah, I'm addicted to Percocet, 30 milligram Percocet. And uh, you guys use every day? Every day. Every day that we can. Some days are easier on us than others because if we don't use, we go through withdrawal. Yeah. Do you uh, use intravenously with needles? I do. You do? No, I uh, don't. How do you take yours? Orally. You just swallow them? And um, how much money do you guys think you spend on opiates daily? That's 300 a day. 300? Mm -hmm. For just for you or between the two of you? That's really good. Both of us. And heroin and cocaine. So about 300 a day, both of us. Are you guys high right now? Yeah. Okay. Um, one of the things that we hear a lot is when people are addicted to pills, sometimes it can be hard to find and they're expensive, so mm -hmm. people will switch to heroin. Mm -hmm. yeah, is, that, is that true? Is that kind of how you got started? That's very true. Yeah. Why um, haven't you switched over to heroin? Um, because for some reason in my head, I feel like, okay, I'm only taking pills, so I'm not doing the hard stuff per se, you know what I mean? Um, and the Percocets are very expensive, you know, they're $30 for one pill. Um, and we've been through a lot of trauma in our life. I lost my mom from cancer. He lost his father. We were um, all living together and we was all um, taking care of the bills of this house in Anne Arundel County. Um, and then we wind up losing them. And yeah, then it's a shame we that. had, um, we did have some family left. And so I had a sister, he had a brother, and Bruce, he said, you know, ever since I lost dad, I feel like I don't have anything. Is there any way that you could um, let, me deal with let me deal with destiny until you guys can get on your feet? And be, you know, being a mom and how much I love her, I think I made the right decision because there's a lot of um, children that, um, you know, when their parents are using pills, drugs, whatever, they get taken away from them, and they're never allowed to see them again. So I'm blessed oh. in that way. How long has it been since you guys saw your child? It's been six months. Six months. Um, is this where you stay? Yeah. Yeah. For the time being? Yeah, most of the time. It's crazy. I, I'm really sad and depressed, and I beat myself up about it because, uh, I got caught with my second gun charge, and I did 10 years in prison. And uh, when I come home in 2018, I, had, I didn't even have a year to spend with my father before he passed away. So I really, you know what I mean? I, I do a lot of drugs to numb, numb just society, period. Yeah, you do. You want to numb the pain. Sometimes uh, I just, I know it's selfish because I got a wife and daughter, but I just want to be with my dad. It's tough, huh? that loss. A lot of lost time too. Mm -hmm. So does it actually help when you guys get high? Does it help moment. you forget about the resentment? And um, at the moment, I would say, at the moment, but it doesn't last forever, you know, an hour later you are beating yourself up again and the depression comes in and the anxiety comes in so um it doesn't work real well it's a temporary fix for uh, the pain that we've been going through especially him he's been a daddy's uh, boy for a long time <laughs> mm.
So, how do you guys feed your addiction? You know, three hundred dollars a day. Uh, I'm yeah. Assuming that you guys don't I have go, a, I, a vehicle, or, or do you? I take I take the light rail and go to like Owens Mills and shit, and hit the clothing store. Go to clothing stores, yeah. boosting stuff, selling it, or returning it for gift cards. Yeah, all the above. I'll find, I'll go find a receipt out in the parking lot and go in there and just get the same thing and then yeah. take it back. Interesting. So if you have a receipt and take the same product back, what do they do? Give you cash? Yeah. yeah. Really? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Wow. That's clever. <laughs> it is clever. So is there, a, I'm assuming, you know, being out here in a situation like this very dangerous is it very that's what i was going to say you've seen some crazy things yeah it's very dangerous like what's the most recent wild thing that you guys have seen we have actually uh we were going to cop what he likes and um i was literally walking with this guy that was loaded with a gun i didn't even know um, and then the other guy, he was by Jimmy. And I'm telling you, this man shot that gun and shot the guy. My ears didn't stop ringing for two, three days. I don't know if he made it or nothing, but 90% of killings in Baltimore is over drugs. 90% of killings in Baltimore are because of drugs? Is over drugs. And, um, and gangs. There's and a lot of gangs in here, too. A lot gangs, of gangs, a lot of gangs tough yes. here. It's a pretty violent city. Oh, you're one Absolutely of the, it probably is. top, we're in the top five for violence and drugs. Might be, last time I heard it, but it was so number how does that, three. How does that make you feel being out here? Okay. You guys get scared? I mean, I not mean. me, you I kind of. You're used to it? This used to it. Um, um, if the time comes, then. I mean, the time comes. It's time for me to go. Yeah, yeah but I don't feel go. that way. I feel like that would be very selfish with me out here with you. Right. So, um, but yeah, we've had people come up to us and they can they know that we're homeless mm -hmm. and um, threaten us, you know, be around us and threaten us and pull out a gun and talk about, I know you all got something, pull that shit out now. Who was that, that guy? Ulk or something? And I was trying to explain it to him, look, I don't have it because I didn't. Or else I would have gave it to him. He said, look, I said, I don't have anything. I promise you that. He said, yeah, right. He said, if you just kick it out, then I said, I won't bother you anymore. And I told him, I said, I honestly don't have anything. I honestly don't. So he went through um, my and Jimmy stuff, um, look through everything, you know, the, the little bit of stuff that we did have was torn upside down, and, um, I'm dragging out. finally he just left, but that was scary for me, yeah. and the guy that had the gun, he was homeless himself, I don't know where he got the gun at, though. I is guess. there a lot of drugs, I mean, is it easy to get drugs in Baltimore? Oh, oh yes, yeah. when, so like everywhere. Oh, yeah. When I'm done here, I'm going to get some. Go get some. Absolutely. How, how, how far do you have to go? Is this like two blocks? Two blocks. Yeah. Yes, it's everywhere. But is two it, blocks it, in each direction. Any direction you go, within two blocks, you'll find. Yes. It's sad. And that's why. And are these people that you I'm, know? Yeah. Yeah. Like you call them, or is this just like, hey, come up to the door? I, and, I just go because over the years we know what time they're out and. So, so like they'll that. say like you'll know between certain times yeah. of the day that you yeah. can just walk up to the door or something like that. Yeah. Are there certain uh, like signs or anything like that where people will advertise themselves as a dealer? Um, no. No. Like you, you can just drive down a road and be like, hey, that orange light is on on the porch that's a, that's a drug house or something like that no no but you can you can pick them out you can pick them out they're, they're flashy they're flashy yeah interesting yeah they're all like flashy. they're just look at their cars yeah you've got hundred thousand dollar cars i mean you, and you don't have a job yeah yeah and they feel like they're so much better than the average person mm -hmm. that they've got addicted yeah um and what? it's sad because it's like it's, it's really hard. sad because it's very hard when you grow up with someone 
and then the table turns and he's selling drugs now. You know, his mindset changes towards us. Like, oh, okay, I, you know, I have drugs, but they're not getting shit from me because I need all my money, which is fine, which is absolutely fine, but... Or you spend money with them all day and you ain't got no more money and you go ask them to front you something until the next day and they tell you no. <laughs> yes, sir. But uh, and that's the game that, that I play, so. Mm, devil's advocate, absolutely. Um, what's the worst thing you guys have had to do to feed your addiction in like a time of desperation? Um, do a steal. Always yeah. steal. Just stealing? Mm. Like stealing from stores or stealing yeah. from, straight from stores? Stealing thing is the same thing as stealing well, from stores. If, if I get in a dope line and I don't have no money, I'm picking the, I'm picking the weakest link and I'm, I, I'm getting, I'm getting mine, one way or another. The hard way or the easy way, but yeah. Uh, what is there something that you guys miss more than anything? I, I'm sure you know. At some point in life, there was good memories and my family. Just miss your family. I miss well. I miss my wife. Hmm. I miss my two daughters and I miss my father. That that was my life. Me, Sherry, Destiny, and my dad. That was my, my life growing up. He you never see. gave up on me, man, no matter what, though. His door was always open. And, and it was crazy so because hard. when I was out there, my wife would stay stay home. And it's, it's, it's. Do you think that you guys can get clean? Yes. Do you Absolutely. want to get clean, or would you rather continue to do this? No, I don't want to get clean. I don't want to get clean, too. You both want to get clean? Yeah, absolutely. I don't want to live in misery anymore, that's for sure. It's just a slow death. We was in a recovery house, when? Two days ago? Yeah. We stayed there 33 days, which 28 days was the amount of time we could stay there. But yeah, we was there um, 28 days, and we actually graduated. We did very well at, um, at the program. What was it called? It was called um, Wonderworks. Yeah. Wonderworks? Yeah. Liberty Heights. Gwyneth, Maryland. Gwyneth, Maryland, and it's Wonderworks. But so, what's stopping you guys from going to treatment tomorrow? We are. We are. Mm -hmm. we yeah. are. You are going to treatment? Yes, absolutely. Oh, Either Second Chance or Park Heights Angels. Okay. It's just scary to go. Through to, detox? Um, I don't really need detox. I don't think, you know. Um, I, I do because methadone doesn't help my fentanyl withdrawal. Right, that's what I hear a lot. I hear that a lot. Still going to have to go through withdrawal regardless. Yeah, see, that's what I heard from a lot of people that dealt with fentanyl. So if I had, if I had a, you know, a magic wand, you guys could wave it right now, create a perfect life. What would that life look like? Um, we would have our children back, of course. I have one child with him. We would have our child back. We would have uh, a place to stay. I don't care if it was an apartment. I don't care how it would look as long as I have shelter over me. And that would be my safe place because out here there is no safe place and you're very vulnerable. Um, just pretty much family. Um, you know, my daughter to be back where she belongs with her parents. Would drugs be involved in your life if you had unlimited drugs or would you rather be off of everything? I would rather be off, of, rather of, everything. Be off of everything. Off of everything. Yeah. I would do that. In I just don't want to have to wake up and depend on something to, to motivate me throughout the day. Yeah. Mm. Okay. Well, we have a lot of resources, you know, in doing the show, a lot of people have reached out and um, a lot of really good people and, and treatment centers and halfway houses and stuff like that. So we're going to leave you with some information and if it's something that you do decide, it sounds like you have some stuff set up, but uh, if it doesn't work out, we'll leave you some contact information for us. Thank you. And if we can help in any way, we, we would love to do that. Thank um, you. Will you guys be safe out there. I appreciate your time. Thank you for that. Thanks. It's good to feel like someone cares, you know? Yeah.